In 2020, we have seen a spotlight on colonial roots in Bristol, a city and dock that facilitated the Caribbean slave trade. However, not much attention has been drawn onto Bath, a city that economically benefited from this trade. Close to Bath lies William Beckford's tower, an embodiment of the imperial project. The slave trade economy funded Beckford's creation of a Gothic revivalist second home and expensed his large collection of art, furniture and objects. A tower with a troubled history, renovated, maintained and funded by the Bath National Trust, acknowledge its colonial roots. However, is this enough? Institutions like the authority in Beckford Tower, the Bath National Trust, exist originally to house stolen goods from other cultures, but now, in a modern era, teach people. These institutions are protected and maintained because they contain art, attracting scholars and historians. Therefore, it's time to recontextualise the institution, bringing to light motives and questions of accessibility using the Beckford Towers Authority Bath National Trust as a case study. I will engage the Bath National Trust in order to access Beckford's currently inaccessible art collection to reveal new knowledge about the Trust's motives. Access to the collection by means of the institution's correspondence will allow me to digitally recreate and conceptualise this collection. The amount and quality of information given to me by the Trust will help in revealing these motivations. While engaging in communication, it may be necessary to conduct multiple phone and emails from different addresses or phone numbers in order to reach the most amount of people within the Trust. I will ask the Tower a series of questions about the importance of displaying their collection to the public in order to gain some secondary insight into larger questions regarding slavery artefact preservation. If the National Trust provides me with little information, it may be necessary to engage with others outside the Trust, former employees, stakeholders or scholars providing different perspectives. The digitally recreated collection will then be presented within a format of the virtual tour, a format increasingly popular by institutions today. The virtual tour and recollection of Beckford's collection will be created based on my understanding of the information given from the Trust regarding the tower's internal architecture. Using this method of compiling information based on the institution's correspondence, I hope to gain some insight into the role of the institution in teaching us about history, and do we need to reevaluate traditional understanding of the museum in order to acknowledge and facilitate their colonial foundation.